Can you all hear me? Louder. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to get started. I want to welcome everybody here to our art renaming dedication. My name is Steve Phillips. I'm the director of the City of Gainesville's Parks, Recreation, and Social Affairs Department. We're very pleased and honored to have everybody here today. Uh, so what I'd like to do is to get this thing started. I'd like to introduce you, our Mayor of, the, of Gainesville. Let's give a nice round of applause to Mayor Warren Poe. an honor to be here today and, and preside over this this dedication this is of course just one of many uh, events going on this weekend to honor the memory and celebrate the birthday of our native son Tom Petty uh, and a couple of folks I just want to recognize real quick and thank for their uh, help with with this and everything that we do here uh, we have a couple of your city commissioners here uh, good Gainesville people themselves. We've got Harvey Ward, we've got Gail Johnson, her and they all have their daughters with them. Uh, we've got Adrian A. Santos as well. Did you bring your mom, Adrian? No, I did mom's okay. Usually it's mom. <laughs> Usually my mom's with me too. Um, uh, we also have the Petty family here. Uh, so to really uh, help people come to Gainesville for the first time or back to Gainesville for a homecoming. Uh, this is how my daughters are if we give them multiple things. <laughs> I'm familiar with this. <laughs> um, the Tom's granddaughters, that's wonderful. Uh, so I want to thank, uh, well first of all, Petty Nation. Give us a shout out if you're part of Petty Nation. and naming of this park. Uh, so you can imagine after we, we all got the, the crushing news that, that Tom had died, uh, first of all, a lot of us put his, his music and his songs on repeat on our phones and our computers. And, and I, I have to tell you that his music was everywhere in the air you went in Gainesville for weeks. I mean, every business you went into, I teach out at Santa Fe College, at City Hall, it didn't matter where you went, Tom Petty was in the background, and it was such a beautiful thing. Uh, and immediately, the request started coming in for what we're going to do to memorialize him and, and honor him. Uh, and uh, let me tell you, 
there were some really out there ideas. <laughs> and I think Tom would have loved them. Right? He would have loved the creativity that went into some of these ideas. Uh, and there were some other things, like he should make a statue. And it's like, you know, I don't... I think Tom was more than just a statue. You know? um, and so we really, we wanted to take our time, and more than anything, we wanted to hear from his closest friends and his family, uh, you know, what would he like and what would be meaningful to, to him and his memory. And the thing that kept coming up over and over uh, was this part, uh, that this is where he spent his childhood. This is where he, he was with his friends and where he escaped and where he played his games and, and just uh, soaked in uh, the, the experience that was Gainesville, uh, you know, back in, in the 70s. And uh, the other, the, I want to say because uh, it was a tough decision, the other place that came up uh, was what is now what we call Hogtown Headwaters uh, Park, but it's the old uh, Mud Crutch Ranch. And, and uh, so we had a hard time thinking, okay, where he spent his time as a child frolicking and playing or where he cut his teeth and really became the musician that, that the world would, would soon discover. Uh, but here we are, uh, we went with the childhood dreams and the childhood memories, and that's why we're here. Uh, and so uh, this will forever now be known as Tom Petty Park. official dedication in just a second but there's one thing that I just want to share uh, a personal connection uh, that we have today on October 20th 2018 with Tom Petty and what he's meant for Gainesville uh, this has been Pride Week in the city of Gainesville today is Pride Day in fact it's just a little bit earlier today that means a lot to a lot of people out there folks um, we just had a Pride Parade. Uh, the Pride Festival is going on all day uh, in Bo Diddley Plaza in downtown Gainesville. But there was a time where it was an act of incredible courage to show up for a Pride Parade or to speak at a Pride Festival. And you know who was at the very first one? Tom Petty. And, and it shows you the kind of person that he was, the kind of life that he lived. And in his very last tour, he was very vocal on stage about supporting transgender rights. He took it right with him to the end. And so, Tom, we love you for that. There are so many people in this world whose lives are better because of what you did. So let's get down to this. If we could uh, please uh, first of all, I want to recognize uh, a couple of our most important people. Uh, uh, we have Bruce Petty uh, and Adrian Petty. Uh, so if y'all would like to come up and uh, say a few words, the crowd would really appreciate it. I think Adrian and I want to talk together because we figured out a couple weeks ago we were really good on the radio together. <laughs> First of all, most importantly, we like, like to thank Mayor Poe uh, and the City of Gainesville for making this possible. And most importantly, to the people of Gainesville, because I know y'all were signing petitions at one point and, and doing things to make this happen. So we really appreciate that. And also, I, I wanted to recognize Steve. Whoops, Steve Phillips, right behind me. Uh, Steve communicated with me and Adriel on this every step of the way through this whole process. And he was just uh, the guy that kind of railroaded everything through and made everything happen. And, and uh, we're so in debt to him or we wouldn't be here today. Here he would have gotten one. <laughs> but anyway, uh, my 
my brother and I grew up in this park and we played as kids and it was, uh, uh, my cousin reminded me of my remark the other day that it was a sanctuary and it really was. It was a place for us to escape and, and be kids and have fun and uh, so the fact that we're doing this today in the park that we played in is just makes it so much more special to our family and, and myself. And, I know Adria's mother, Jane, played in this park, and my wife, Beth, played in this park. My kids played in this park. And today, when we're done, my grandkids and my brother's grandchild are going to play in this park. <laughs> over to my beautiful niece, Adria. I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that came out in 90 Degrees to dedicate this park to my dad. Um, 95. Um, it's, me and Bruce are very reluctant public speakers. Um, I'm a, I have a face for radio, definitely, like not the person who wants to be out here. Um, but I want to thank you because the fans of Tom Petty and the people um, across the world and the country who share him in common have made this really difficult loss for us just so much easier. And the fact that he could move you to be here that we're here and that we're part of our family now in a certain way. I just want to thank you and really welcome you to our family. My mother, my stepmother Dana, who sadly is not here, and my sister Anna Kim, and my brother Dylan, and my daughter Everly. Um, we are an extended family um, around my dad who just are so grateful for the love and the compassion and just relating to all of you guys um, through the last 12 months. Um, Gainesville is an extraordinary place and if you listen to my dad's music here it has a different meaning. I don't know if some of the fans have felt that, maybe you're driving around, but the idea of the air smelling good and the trees were green, I mean there's nothing like this park to really illustrate that. Um, Dreamville has been blasting in my brain. <laughs> special place that fosters creativity, that fosters all kinds of things from the athlete in you to the artist in you. It's a very important town to Florida. Florida is a really beautiful, really complex place and uh, it, it fosters a lot of intelligence, a lot of compassion, incredible manners, incredible decency and it's something to be really proud of that my dad was from Gainesville. And, um, father wanted people to live what they believe and be who they wanted to be. And that was my dad. My dad was always about the golden rule in the Sermon on the Mount, you know. And nothing more complex than that. So I'm I'm very blessed to be here. I know Benmont sent me a little list I want to just mention. <laughs> dedication, I remember this. <laughs> uh, you know, he wanted me to mention Lipa Music and Marvin Kaye Music Store. Clubs and Keg and the Traders and Big Daddy Lounges. <laughs> every topless bar in the <laughs> you know, But I think that, you know, my dad really uh, had a lot of support from the local community. And he uh, wanted me to say how devoted Sandy Stringfellow was to Mudcrutch and the Heartbreakers, and Keith McAllister and Bugs 
Wydell, Alan Wydell, who is my spirit animal. <laughs> and, um, Pat Chambers, my godmother, who has just been sort of the number one cheerleader of this group for a long time.